very good morning to one and all present here. I welcome you all for class four on orthographic projections. Let us start with the basic conceptual introduction about what is meant by orthographic projection, followed by a simple illustration problem. And in between, let us understand again what are the different pattern of planes. So that is very much going to be helpful for us in solving the problem based on the orthographic projection method. So what is exactly orthographic projection? So it is an idea of converting a given 3D object by means of a two-dimensional uh, representation. It can be otherwise called as a right angle projection. Here, in orthographic projection, the diagram will be drawn in a given 2D plane by constructing a projection line 90 degree perpendicular to the base reference line. So, the term ortho means right angle projection. So, all the lines that are drawn in different direction that are equally parallel and perpendicular facing to each other. That is why the name has been called as a right angle projection. The orthographic projection, why it is considered to be more important? Because in three-dimensional view, we will try to get the consolidated idea of the given the product. Suppose if you want to understand the detail, the, the layout of the product, 2D representation is the best the feasible method so that we can able to communicate a lot more details directly from three-dimensional object to the two-dimensional object for better understanding. What are the different objectives of uh, orthographic projection? So understanding the concept and mechanism of the topic orthographic projection with reference to different exploded views like a top view, front view, and side view. Providing an opportunity to draw an orthographic projection of a 3D object by following first angle projection method, then translating a given 3D object into the 2D views. These are some of the learning objectives of orthographic projection. Now, let us have a, some understanding on pattern of planes and views as per the first angle projection. So before going to construct any problem related to the orthographic projection, first thing, the diagram will be given in pictorial view. Okay, so you consider the plane, horizontal plane and vertical plane. So this view is in the form of a pictorial projection. So we want to convert all our the drawing concept into 2D, okay, from pictorial to orthography. So what is to be required here? So consider horizontal plane. We have to resolve the horizontal plane. 90 degree clockwise direction. Okay, so you can see here in the next stage. So in order to analyze the different view of the object, which has been translated from the 3D view. So we want to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise so that we can able to identify which one is the top view and the front view, the corresponding vertical plane and horizontal plane. Okay, whereas in pictorial view, it is not clear. The top view will not be visible much clear. So that only we are rotating the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise. Similarly, profile plane, that is when you are viewing the object from the side angle, say right side or left side direction. So the image of the 3D object will be projected on the profile plane. So here, observer viewing the object from the left hand side direction. So the left side view will be reflected on the right side path, right side direction. So this profile plane supposed to 
turn out 90 degree clockwise so that both vertical and the profile plane will come in the same direction. Okay. Similarly, horizontal and vertical plane will also come lie in the same path, same direction. So this is the way in which we want to project the different the pattern of plane and the corresponding view as per the first angle method following the orthographic projection. So orthographic projection can be otherwise called as multi-view drawing. So you are just disassembling the given 3D object by means of a 2D by exploding different separate views. So we call this as a multi-view drawing. Now let us go to a problem. So consider a three-dimensional object. So solve the given three-dimensional object using orthographic projection method. Here, the front view symbol, arrow mark symbol is given in the question. So this is the identification mark. So which direction we have to view the object. So the front view indicator is given. Now we want to draw the top view and the right side view. So totally three views we want to draw it in a 2D plane. Okay, so this is the question, problem statement. Now for the given problem, we have to prepare the solution. Okay, first let us go with the front view. So how the given 3D object can be converted into 2D as, as per uh, the front view. Okay, so now assume an observer standing here in front of the 3D object. Okay. At a particular height, he is viewing the 3D object from the front view direction. So, what are the, the object, uh, the futures? What are the portions uh, that will be observed, that will be clearly observed by the, by the person? Okay. So, let us see here. There are... So let us understand from the 3D object, so nearly two portions are visible to the observer eyesight. So side 1 and side 2. So we want to draw these two sides by uh, drawing a continuous line in 2D view. So how we can able to proceed? So along with the dimensional scale values, exactly we have to follow the dimensional scale. First, draw a line of length 60 mm in horizontal direction. Draw vertical line for 20 mm. Then draw another horizontal line parallel to the base reference line towards left side direction 40 mm. So this overall length is 60. 60 minus 20, the remaining distance will be 40. Okay, then draw a vertical line for 20 mm. How? Oh. So this is 40. So 40 minus 20, you will get the remaining height for 20. So draw a vertical line for 20. Then draw horizontal line, another 20 mm. Okay, then 40 mm, draw a downward line, vertical line towards downward direction, 40 mm. Then stretch the line at this point, continue the line, okay, extend the line for another 20 mm in upward direction, then move the line towards right side direction for 20 mm. So finally, we will be able to get to end point, cover the two end point by drawing an inclined line, okay. So this is the final, the front view image. So from 3D, it has been translated to the 2D projection. The same thing we have to draw for top view as well as the right side view. So now the next procedure, construct the top view in a given 2D plane. So the top view looks like a square polygon, 60 by 60. 
So the observer viewing in this direction from the top view, so you will be able to see the square lay of 60 by 60. So go to the solution part, draw a square 60 by 60 above. Okay. Inside the layout, the 2D layout, so you can able to see the following the image uh, the projections. So construct a square 20 by 20. Here, draw a line for 20 mm, another 20 mm, all the four sides. Then construct a rectangle for 40 by 20 mm in a flat 2D plate. 40 by 20 m. Okay. And these two parallel lines does not have any measurement. So directly by default, you can stretch and extend up to the dead end. So this is regarding the solution for the top view. The next right side view. Here, the right side view comes in the left hand side direction. So already I told you according to the the different uh, the pattern of plane logic. See when you view in the right hand side direction here, the left side there will be a projection plane that is a profile plane will be placed. So the image of the 3D object which is kept in between the horizontal and vertical plane that will be made to fall on the left side, left side of the profile plane. But in this picture, the profile plane is given in the right hand side direction. But in my problem, we have to draw the right side view of the 3D object. So I'm just shifting the profile plane towards the left side. So the right side will be empty. So now the 3D object can be viewed from the right side direction. So that the mirror image reflection of the 3D object will be projected on the left side of left side plane. Okay, so we can rotate the profile plane towards left hand side direction 90 degree clockwise. So we will be able to draw the right hand side view towards left side direction. But in this example image, there is no right side view. Only left side view is given the different uh, plane system. So now view the object from the right side direction. Okay, so I'm going to draw this uh, side view, the right side view towards left side direction. Okay, so a rectangle of length 60 by 20 mm. Okay, so we can able to construct a rectangle of 60 by 20 mm. Then 20 by 40, another rectangle from here, 20 mm and 40 mm. Okay. Then construct a vertical line from this point. So 40 mm vertical line. So this is 20. Okay, remaining 40 mm, I have to draw a vertical line in upward direction. Then draw the line facing towards left side direction, 20 mm. Then bring down the line in downward direction. Okay, this length, this vertical distance is also 40 mm. Okay, then from here, erect the line to 20 mm upward direction. The total height is 40. Already 20 is drawn here up to this. And another 20 is extended. Then draw the line, horizontal line for 40 mm. Okay, so these are the solution for right side view. So totally we have seen all the three exploded views in orthographic projection. So with this information, I thank each and every one of you. So in the next uh, class meeting, we will see about isometric projection. So how to construct a given object in three dimensional view, that is isometric projection from orthographic to isometric. Today we saw about ortho to, I, sorry, isometric to orthographic projection. So in the next meeting, we will discuss about how to draw an object in three-dimensional setup.
if the question gives in the orthographic projection. And finally, we will have a comparison between ortho and isometric. 